Hello and welcome again to Immigration News and Views. My name is David Nachman and I'm one of the uh, managing attorneys at the Nachman Fawani Zemochek Law Group. We have offices located in Ridgewood, New Jersey. We also have an office located in New York City in Manhattan. We also have an office uh, located in Indianapolis and we have a presence in Boston and we are in the process of creating a presence in Chicago, Illinois. Today I wanted to spend a little time talking to you about administrative processing because not a day seems to be going by now where we're not getting a flood of emails uh, from individuals who are outside the United States who are uh, trying to deal with the, uh, unfortunately, the uh, unpredictability of the administrative process. But what everyone needs to know is that our consular officers who serve in the consulate offices outside the United States uh, are really doing the best that they can um, under the uh, under tremendous, first of all, they're under a tremendous amount of pressure and they're trying to vet the cases with, uh, tr with the detail that's available to them in the databases. But what you have to understand is in light of the recent uh, incidents in Paris, the shooting in, uh, in Paris and also the shooting in, uh, uh, in California, uh, new protocols are being put into place and uh, new manpower is being put into place and so we're in a time of transition and um, obviously I think that the officers are trying to do the best that they can under the circumstances to try to vet these cases and to get them moved through the consulate office but you have to understand that obviously national security is the paramount issue for them. Uh, now. One of the things that we get asked every single day is, can we expedite the administrative process? And while in some cases the administrative process can be expedited, um, in other cases it cannot. And so uh, what we tend to find is that uh, people, of course, become very uh, frustrated by the process and uh, they ask us questions which is very difficult for us to answer without being able to have a consultation, a formal consultation, and without us being able to get a lay of the land with regard to your particular case as to why your case may have been put into administrative processing. So for example, one of the reasons why your case may end up in administrative processing might be because you're listed on the technical alert list, which is a list of certain types of occupations or uh, endeavors or vocations where uh, there is a possibility that those uh, might be used uh, in a certain way that's not beneficial to our economy. Uh, so we need to sort of uh, drill down with regard to your particular case and try to find out what the reasons might be as to why you're being held in the administrative process. There could be certain things that may have happened with regard to your administrative processing. For example, a, a document may be requested where that information has not yet been provided to the consulate. Uh, it could be that you didn't receive an email that the consulate was sending you with regard to the additional information. So there's any number of reasons as to why a case may be held in administrative processing. We try the best we can to assist our clients, their friends, their families with regard to the administrative process, but again, we also balance that against the very, very difficult work that the U.S. consular officials have in the consulate offices abroad. We know and respect that they're doing the best that they possibly can to ensure our nation's national security. Um, if there's any way in which we can try to assist you with regard to your administrative process and case, or if there are any questions that we might be able to answer for you generally, I call your attention to some of the earlier administrative processing videos that we've posted online, and also there is an excellent section in the uh, travel.state.gov, the Department of State website, which explains the administrative process and also lays out for you reasons why your case may be held. Um, our telephone number is on the screen below, as is our email address. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out for us. We are U.S. and Canadian immigration lawyers. We are here to assist you in any way we can. Thanks very much for being with me today. Bye for now.